Shaki, who's opening for India. Durga Rao, Tom, Tom Packy. It's not AJ Kuma ready as we thought. He's only the batting with Venkat Eswara Rao Dunna. Some argument going on here already about think about the ball or afternoon, Sam. Afternoon, Daniel. What a start, eh? Oh, what a shot! Oh, what a shot. Tom Packy cover drive all along the deck. I mean that whistle to the boundary. That was a clean connection, cover drive. Looks like he's bowling kind of slightly leg leg spinners, man. Yeah, fizzing them in. Yeah. Two or three step run up. You could see we were down there for the toss down. I mean, there's a real intensity to this. There contact. really is. There really is. Both sides really want to win. That's going to be four runs. Thick outside edge runs away. India hyped up the eight of the last two balls. It was the genuine outside edge that, not as as pure a stroke as Tom Becky's previous boundary. One of the Indian team coaches was doing a little dance, delighted, enjoyed that. <laughs> Real passion for their cricket, both these sides. Pakistan the first to qualify for the finals. Down the leg side, that's going to be a wide. Good start this from India. India qualified for the final by virtue of beating Bangladesh in a, well, effectively a semi final and eliminator style game, second versus third in the group yesterday. Munia in. Yes, that's a dot ball. So nine for none off the first over. Uh, brilliant start to this game. Edge Baston bathed in. Sunshine, India, skipper, AJ. He will also keep wicket. He won the toss and elected to bat. You see the India batting order on your screen there. Who are we going to have to open the bowling for... Pakistan from the Pavilion. It looks like it's going to be Zabe marking out his run up. Ramba. Four of Sandy Overs has been bowled by B1 players. In fact, it's going to be Hydea. To open the bowling from Pakistan, Duna, Indian opening batter, just making his mark. Just two fielders allowed outside the inner circle for the opening six overs, the power play in T20 cricket. Pakistan hoping to restrict India to 150-160, but India have made a, a decent start here. Duna then on strike for the first time in this final idea. Accurate straight away. That, that sharp from the deer. Keepers up to the stumps. Plenty of encouragement. Lots of noise around Edge Baston. Johnny gets his back down quickly. Keeps that one out. Adir in. That one's a wide. It's going to race away. Great bit of work by the fielder down at final leg to save a boundary. Rides from idea. These balls, about the size of a, what you'd call a normal cricket ball, made of plastic with ball bearings in, sometimes can take the ball off in either direction, unpredictable with the weight of the ball bearings. And that one just slipping down, leg side brings Tom Packy on strike. 
for India. 59 runs in the tournament before this game. Averaging just a shade under 30. He's in. Topaki is sweeping out into the leg side, and it'll just be a single. Good bit of work. So he's accurate into the keeper. So it's one. This is Tardy Safran, Hadir, so far. He's got a shot, he? he? is quick. The quickest ball we've seen today. 14 on his back. He's in. Bowls outside edge, but a great bit of work by the third of it. Short third. Safe to bound to go, really. Either side of him, and Dunner has four to his name. Superb field. The atmosphere is electric here. It really is. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Three different categories of players. The B2 players, like Dunner, the batter, wearing a red stripe. Here's idea. Reverse sweep is out. Saw him coming, went into the leg side. Took a bottom edge, went up in the air. They come through for just a single. Dinner is off the mark. One from three, he's got. 1.4 overs gone here at Edge Baston. 13 without loss. India having elected to bat. This big, well blind games men's final sweeps again he's found the gap beautifully the two fielders allowed outside the ring are down there at fine leg and square leg but he has placed the ball perfectly between the two of them Tom Baki and he looks in good nick at Dan. Yeah he does Shazab Haida everything's been back into the right hander I wonder if he's got one that goes the other way if he does Dan now would be a quite a good time to use it yeah, I'd, I'd suggest that yes I would uh, but he's, he's quite sharp isn't he it's, it's all sort of wrist isn't it like just a flick of the wrists right at the last minute it's a remarkable level of skill isn't it mm. Look at, out here to the top side in the world that one's it's gone nice. down the leg side it's going to go to the boundary I think the question is did he get some bat on it did he hit the legs he's going to be giving us runs so a fine little ticky from ticky tickle from John Packey. Ends the over. Two overs gone. It's been a good start from India. 21 without loss. Well, well, well. It's all heating up here at Edgbaston. Birmingham. Hosting. The rivals. He's going to come on for the second over. Dunner is going to face. Got a couple of wickets in the tournament so far, Manir. 12 overs across four games before the final. Oh, a bold from Bada Munia. The noise out there, Dan. See? It's unreal. <laughs> oh, where's that going? That's. Back to the. Trying to make the umpire give a wide, stretching his hands out. Running down the wicket, the umpire gives a bye. I mean, I think the batter was basically a left-handed position. I want, it sh turned sharply, it was the off-spinner. Yeah. Because I wonder if there was an, an outside edge on it. Oh, again, thick outside edge. He's, he's getting it to go the other way, isn't he, from where Shazay Paida is getting it to go. He's getting it to go away from the right-hander. Yeah. Whereas Haida is getting it to all go back in. To Stop. the right handed batter. Stock balls the leg spinner, isn't it, Manit? Oh, see the curve on that. Oh, it's a chance of a run out. Oh! That's why he's got the field he's got. He's got a 5 4 field here. You've got three fielders. You've got a mid off. Yeah. An extra cover or cover. 
and then a man in between the two. And yeah. They've identified and that as a strong scoring area. And just in case he gets it wrong, he's got the deep square and the fine leg. Oh, that's well bowled. This is good stuff from Badamania. And Pakistan needed this over as well. India had started very sharply, ten and a half and over after the first couple. Just pulling it back. Great over. Almost bowled him around his legs there. Almost bowled him around his legs. End of the over there. 23 without loss. Three overs gone. India batting first here in this World Blind Games men's final. If you're just joining us, welcome. We saw the women's final a little bit earlier on today. India defeating Australia by nine wickets. It was relatively comfortable in the end, sadly. It was a rain-affected game. Australia making 114. India, after the rain, only requiring 42 off nine overs. Well, they made very, very light work of that, indeed. Straight into the men's final, with the chance of a, a shower or two later on. Hopefully, though, their weather can stay away. Hyder is going to continue from the pavilion end. Tom Packy on a strike. He's got 18 from 11. Started brilliantly. Sweeps it. I think he's going to have 22 off 12. Is it going to have the legs? Yes, it is. It was a brilliant athletic, athletic effort from the fielder out there in the deep. Has he pulled that back? Absolutely fantastic if he has. Oh, I thought that might have touched the rope. Certainly well. <laughs> intensified the heat here. The temperature gauge just going up a notch. We are a long way away. It was a superb bit of fielding by the man at mid-wicket as Hyder is in, sweeping again. He's found that gap between the two fielders, but square leg gets around, keeps it to just the one. And there was Badamania wearing 10, who was fielding superbly a couple of balls ago. Mid-wicket is a key position in blind cricket. Yeah, I'm not sure the field's right here. It's just like Hyder is bending it back into the right-hander. And he comes, reverse sweep is out. Doesn't quite get hold of that, though, Dinner. Straight to the fielder, uh, back the point, so it's going to be a dot ball. I'm not sure when you're doing that that you need two mid-offs. I can see why they're doing it to uh, Munir at the other end, because... He's taking the ball away from the right-hander, so he's going to get driven through the covers, through mid-off. But I'm not sure with the ball bending back in, I think you need another man over on the leg side. Halfway through the fourth over. Here's in. Smash through the covers. There's a chase there on here. What do I know? There's a chase <laughs> on here. They're going to pick up a couple. Ooh, Superb work from the field around. Backward point. I think it's. Is it Nazir up there or is it Matiula? I can't quite see the number from up here, but it was a superb bit of work. The arm was a bullet. 28 without loss. Idea is in. Swept. Didn't get hold of it. And he's down on one leg. When they don't get hold of it, I don't know if it's the plastic on the ball, it sounds horrid. It sounds like the bat snapping, doesn't it? It must be the plastic ball, sounds like yeah. the bat on plastic ball. Yeah. India going along nicely though. 29 without loss, one ball left in the fourth. What side it got here? Straight to that one, nipping in. There's those two fielders that Dan Whiting were calling unnecessary. <laughs> Mid on. Come through for a single. End of the over. Four gone. Plenty so of noise here at Edgebaston. So since I called for the men to go over, two out of the three balls have gone through that area. I didn't think it was bold. You deciding any more than the uh, I think down I'll, skipper. I think I'll stick to coming through rather than the trying to be a the skipper. Even if start, you think Pakistan would have liked a wicket or two? Yeah, I think, in, uh, I think Pakistan will want to see... The back of Tumpaki, I think he's a dangerous customer. 22 or 14 balls. Dunner looks a, bit, a little bit more circumspect in his approach, but Tumpaki looks like he wants to play shots.
And he's going to bowl his third one here. Man for the power play. The noise here, the atmosphere. Edgbaston, the cauldron. Pakistan's in the bad. Crying out here. Indian fans responding with their own chance. Brilliant. I didn't expect this. That's in the air. That's gone for four. Some packy again. Big curve on that ball, wasn't there? Just held up in the wind a little bit. Didn't yeah. He? After the splice, he's still a bit. He needs to get back into his own zone a bit here. Some packy. He's batting beautifully. He's still worried about the previous delivery that wasn't given as a wide that he feels should have been. Fielded off his own bowling there by Badamania. It could have been nasty that right off the edge of the finger. <laughs> yeah, they sting a little bit, don't they? You can get him trapped against the boot as well, can't you? Done that on many an occasions. Fingertip. Good curve on the ball there. Johnny can drill it out to mid wicket there, Tom Packy. A beautiful shot, it deserved run through really, the way he played that stroke. Just flipped it, checked on drive. Thinking outside edge, well fielded though. There, oh, see, you know, this was 66 on their back. There's no 66 on our list. Oh, that's a lovely shot by Tom Packey. Gets it past. Reset Khan. Extra cover. And goes away for four. 41 for none after just five overs. And Nasir Ali, the skipper, he wanted to keep India down to 160, 170 after the 20. Well, Someone's got to put the brake on for him here. Well, you know, Tom Packey, talk about saving it for a big game. He's not quite as high a score of the tournament. He does have a 40 before this. He only had one boundary coming in today. He's had six already in the opening five overs of the final. Gives it a whack, doesn't he? If there's a time to come good, it's going to be now. Is we going to have a, the first change in the bowling? Or are we going to finish off the power play with Hydea? I think it's going to be Hydea to bowl over number six two of his not for 19 so far so India uh, Pakistan sorry not using any category B1 bowlers yet in the power plate and it is going to be Hyder and just a him. reminder for the viewers Sam what percentage of the overs 20% of the overs got to be bowled by each impairment reverse swap straight to cover they're going to pick up a single though and, and a minimum Of eight overs to be bowled by bowlers in the category B1. Category so four, four, yeah, four overs per bowler. But you've got to have eight overs bowled by B1 bowlers. That's over the power play, just two outside the circle. Some packy on strike, he's in the 30s. <laughs> Moves up to 36. That was a thunder. It was a half volley length in the end for him. Slashed it in front of point. Straight into the brumbrella as they call it here it's the, it's the hover mower hover cover they've got here at Edgbaston known colloquially as the Brumbrella 
India flying now. 46 without loss in the power play. They've still got four balls left of it as well. Pakistan need a wicket here just to try and slow India down slightly. They need a wicket or they need to get Dunner on strike. He's, he's got just five from 11. It's Tom Packey who's dominating. 36 of 22 so far. In comes Hyder. Swept. Fielder's out there though. Should keep it to one. Yeah, does really well out there. Keeps it to one. Dunner on strike. Pakistan won't mind this too much. Ryder is in. I say that. Whoa. I knew that was going to happen. He sold swept for six. Got his back right underneath it. Well, if you're under pressure, if you're not able to manipulate the ball around the field for singles, why not get down on one knee and sweep it for six? And that is exactly what Dunner has done. That's a 50 up for India. 53 without loss. Dunner has gone from 11 off five, uh, five off 11 to 11 off 12 with that six. Edge Buston's rocking. What T20 finals day here, isn't it? Brilliant noise, isn't it? Yeah. Both teams gathered beneath us all together. There's a real sense of togetherness from these sides. They want to win this. This means a lot to them. Dunner on strike. Last ball, the power play. Reverse sweep. Big appeal. He's missed it. It's his pad. Begging for a decision. Ida. He's been given us runs. He's raced away for four. 57. He's not happy about it, is he, Hyder? Going along at nearly 10 and over here. 57 without loss now. Dunner must have got a little tickle on that. He's been given his runs by the umpire. He has signalled his gloves. It's not even in the over. I thought it was in the over. There's one ball to go. Oh, it's all going off here, Sam. I can't. Even I can't count now. That's nothing new there. I'm man. a qualified umpire, mate. Nothing new. <laughs> Idea to finish off the power play. Cannons into Dunner's pads, going down leg side. No ball is given by oh. the umpire at square leg. I think that must be because it didn't bounce. It's got to bounce either side of that white line in the middle of the pitch. Yeah, Pakistan just need to keep their heads here. I think the. Uh that's hurt Dunner. That's him. Just on the ankle. Subfield is coming on. Umpires walking over. Wicket keepers. Oh, I don't know what's going off out there. Do you? <laughs> it's hot. It's very intense. It's really intense. Dunner's okay though. It takes right. Last ball. The power play. 58 without loss. It's not a free hit, only front foot no rules. There might be a little bit of hit. chat coming his way from backward point here. Swept beautifully along the ground in front of the square. That's four to finish the power play. Duna finishes the power play with a bit of a flourish. He moves on to 19. India 62 without loss after six. Yeah, Pakistan need to find some answers, and quickly, because India are running away with this a little bit. It's a bit expensive. I'm surprised they gave Hyder another over there, really. He was already going at just about 10, 12 and over. He's ended up going for 40 off his free. We surely will see a B1 bowler into the attack now. Indeed, it's Mohamed Salman into the attack, wearing number one on his back for Pakistan. A couple of wickets in the tournament so far, 15 overs. He's got more overs for Pakistan in this tournament than anybody else. Been hit for the four boundaries in those 
15 overs, which is some going. So he's got the fine leg, the deep square, the deep mid wicket, mid ons are up, but there's a lot of gaps there in the leg side. Can he push two into there? He's got two, three third men. A deep extra cover and a long off. And you'll have five out now. So you've got to have four up in the circle. It's a strange field, this. It's got like a backward point. He's got a conventional third and a fly slip. The only other man in the circle is mid on. What's Salmon going to bowl? And Paggy just gets it out to deep cover just for a single. I think Pakistan will take singles at the moment. Yeah, it's Akmal Nazir out there at deep cover. He's got a lot of ground to cover out there. Best way of putting a break on a charge like this by taking wickets. New batter has to come in. Salmon, crash through the offside, great fielding though, out in the deep. Nazir yeah, does well out there. Just changing the field for Tom Packy and Dunna. I mean, off goes out to long off for Tom Packy. Fielder at third comes up to join the other pair. Let's turn around the corner. You're going to take one. Matty doing the fielding round there along with Rearsat Khan. And Mohamed Shazeb. Mohamed Salman rocking back and forth before his delivery. Donna smashes that to mid off. Next in is Siva Subramanian. Yeah, he's gone. Donna goes. Salman does the trick. Pakistan go wild. The horns blare. Edgbaston comes alive. 65 for one. Much needed that. Yeah, they really needed that wicket. Pakistan. India have lost their opener. Donna, Tom Paki is still out there. It's a great start, though. He's given them reluctant to go but he is going to have to wander off actually I think Tunda might be in now yeah B1 player Tunda on his way out to the middle Dunner will take his gloves and pass his bat across to the runner Naresh by Balabai Tunda Gets a runner, he's going to have Deepak Malik running for him. Averaging just a shade under 39 in the tournament. Tunda got 150, 62 unbeaten is his best so far. Still no sign of Ramesh, India's leading run scorer. I'd imagine he will come in next.
the one player just having his glasses checked by the umpire. Those glasses have got to fully cover the eye socket. Cap goes back on. Pakistan have the breakthrough they really needed. Salman has come into the attack. Three singles, a dot ball, and then a wicket. It's been a brilliant over so far. Can we finish it off? When we're at the toss, you see the batters and the umpires are both on the side of the ground towards the hollies. This is because there are strips laid down here. Warwickshire have got semi-final in the Metro Bank One Day Cup here on Tuesday where they'll face either Hampshire or Worcestershire. And they're also trying to keep a wicket nice and fresh for England versus New Zealand in the T20 here as well. Salman. Tunda. Seems to launch that into the leg side. They think about a run. But Malik doesn't want to run his partner out there. 65 for one at the end of the seventh. Superb over that. Superb over. We're going to see another change of bowling for... Pakistan. Idea. Free over is not a 40. He's going to come out of the attack. We're going to see Mohamed Shazeb into the attack. B1 player. He's going to come around the wicket. So Pakistan choosing to get through the power play. The B2 and B3 bowlers and then bring the B1 bowlers into the attack. Remember they've got a bowl. 40% of the overs, so that's 8 of the 20. Tom Packy on strike. Zaid. Touches the stumps to get his bearings. He's fired that one down the leg side. It's a good effort from the wicket keeper just to tip it around the post. Perhaps takes enough pace off it to keep it from going to the boundary, but it goes through for one. So a couple of wides there onto the total. Yeah, Nisar Ali, the skipper, keeping wicket. <laughs> Tumda then to take strike from the pavilion end for the first time. Just being helped from square leg by his teammate and runner Deepak Malik. He will tell him where the field is set. Come through for a single, just waiting to see if he got any bat on that. Must have got a little bit. Yeah, Manic, Manic was the runner there, it was a little bit slow setting off. A massive warm welcome to you. If you're joining us from the subcontinent as well, warm welcome to Edgebaston, to Birmingham. My name's Dan Whiting. His name's Sam Dalling. This is India v Pakistan. Down the ground by Tom Packy. There's a man down there at long off who's going to keep it to a single. That's Badir Munir doing the fielding. Tunza back on strike. Field comes in. He's got two off two. Remember B1 players score double. So a single is worth two. There's a fielder at short mid wicket. A ring of five between wicket keeper and mid off. Side bowl sweeps. Lovely looking shot. Oh. Brilliant bit of fielding though. And, and the deep. I wonder who's going to go all the way to the boundary. Instead they're going to come back for a couple. So it's going to be worth four. But Moeen Aslam out there has that saved brilliant. an eight. Never said that in cricket before. Saved an eight. Saved an eight. Yeah. Swept. 
Aslam again out there, brilliant work from him. Keeps it to just a single. Be worth two for Tumda, so he moves on to eight for four. 76 for one. There's a real intensity to this, isn't there? Down to fine leg for a single. End of the over then. No, it's not the end of the over, apologies. Turn the back on strike. Eight, he's got eight from four. One ball left in abacus, the over. Um, seems, seems to be struggling to, to count. Seems to have found it. Tumda, 8 off 4. 77 for 1 India. It's been a brilliant start. Last ball, the 8th. Cut. Goes straight to the fielder at back of point. Does well. Got ball to end the over then. This time it is the end of the over. 8 gone, 77 for 1. Well, they said there might be a little bit of rain around, but I can't see it. Edgbaston is bathed in sunshine, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're going to be all right, Dan. I think we'll be all right. The umpires were a little bit nervous at the toss, weren't they? Yeah, they were. The rain. There were suggestions. There were some heavy showers forecast. Everyone has a different weather app they go to. Salman. Can he do the trick here? It's just missed out there. Goes into the onside. Check the momentum a little bit, haven't they, here, Pakistan? Yeah, Salman's bowled well. He's only gone, he's gone one for three off 1.1 1 .1 here so far. Oh, he's going to get just the one here, I think. No, he's come back for two. That's well run. Well run. Superb bit of running that. Superb. And the change of ball here, I think. Umpire's going to come together. Don't know if that one's split. There's a bit of rain around. Yeah, the forecast isn't great, but you never know it. Yeah, you look up. They're patchy though. They're patchy showers, so I think if you get one, you're going to get a big one. And if you don't. It's bright sunshine like we've got here. Um, with a bit of luck, it will avoid us. So just a slight delay here at Edgbaston while they change the ball. Those plastic balls sometimes do split. Particularly the speed at which they're being bowled and the power at which they're being hit. They give it a proper whack, don't they? So He <laughs> hit mid on his line on the floor there. Sandra Fielding has been absolutely superb all day.
Coleman. He's keeping it tidy still. Speaking of superb, he's been brilliant, isn't he? Yeah. Really keeping a lid on this Indian innings. Front of square. Ball spins around. Yeah, I think the rain might be okay. I think we might get some about maybe half past six, but we might be done and dusted here. Salmon tries to trap that one. Not sure if he tried to deflect that into the stumps, actually. But, uh... So Salmon, one for 12 of two. Very tidy. 83 for one at the end of the ninth. Tom Packy is five short of a well-deserved 50. Tunda, 10 off just seven balls. What do you think India are looking at here, Sam? Do you think they're looking at about 180? I think 180, they'd be looking at me. Yeah, just, just, just one so. down. Oh, he to continue. He's got one over for 12 so far. And back he's got 45 for 31. By just checking those glasses are affixed to Zabe's face. Come around the wicket. Field is spread, long off, deep mid wicket, deep square leg, fine leg, deep cover. Fires that one in. It's down the leg side. Not going to be a wide as much as Tom Packey is imploring the umpire to open those arms up. It's up in the air, but it's fallen short of the fielder out there. So Bucky comes through for a single, moves him on to 46. Tom Durr has got 10 from 7. Back on to strike. Bucky just playing that shot through again. And he said he'd like to go a little bit more on that. He's lucky, really, he didn't chip it up to the fielder. It wasn't far short, was it? No, it wasn't. Five or six yards. be interested to know how much of an influence the runner has here because obviously he's guiding Tunda who's a B1 player that's it straight swept beautiful shot but straight at mid wicket who does the fielding it's a good bit of work from Badal Munir he guides him he tells him where the fielder is he puts him back into position Tunda then taps the bales, doesn't he? Taps the leg stump, taps the off stump, so he knows where he is. Yeah. It's interesting to know how much of the influence that Malik, as his runner, has on him. Dot ball there. Precious dot ball. Can't get it away, Tunga. encouragement out there from both sides fizzed in by a cut away into the offside they take one they're going to come back for a second it's a good bit of running that's going to get them four Tunda good on. one player good on. scores double it was a good arm Oh, someone's in trouble here. Scrambles through, chance to run out of the non-striker's end. So Packy called the runner through quickly. He was slow to react. And in the end, he gets through for a leg bite. So Packy keen to keep as much of the strike as possible. 
Last ball of the tenth over. Our umpire's just conferring. In fact, that was the last ball of the tenth over. So halfway stage, 90 for one. India having opted to bat. They'll be pretty pleased with the way it's gone so far. If they can double up here and get 180, well, that'll be well above what Pakistan were hoping to restrict them to. Yeah, fantastic venue. The city of Birmingham ahead of us in the distance. The floodlights leaning over the ground here at Edgbaston. The floodlights shaped in the letter E. Just lurching over the ground, aren't they? No, I'd never noticed that. What? The E in the floodlights. Did you not? Yeah. Uh, you can see it more from yeah. the train. As when you're on your way in here to New Street, you see it as you come in from sort of you go past St Andrews, the Birmingham city ground. And you can notice it more. It's much more pronounced from further out. The crowd are getting hyped up here. In Birmingham. It's a, yeah. Drinks for the two sides. Halfway stage in the innings. Just a, t a chance to come together and think about how they're going to approach this second half of the first innings, tactically. This atmosphere is buzzing. Edgbaston's alive. Who's going to win the gold cup? Gold medal. Will it be India? Will it be Pakistan? Well, the fans of both counties want to make it. The fans of both sides, sorry, countries want to make it theirs. The Hollies there to our right, bathed in sunshine. Quite a decent crowd in now. This famous old venue. Think back to some of the great games here. England, Australia in the Ashes 2005. Geraint Jones took that catch. England, Australia 1981. Ian Botham taking five wickets for one run. Can these two old rivals make it one to remember here? Salmon continues unsurprisingly. One for nine off two overs. That's in the air. This is going to be out. Oh. No, it's not. Very first single in the end. Should have been out. Yeah. And the Pakistan fielders get got so caught up in the potential drop catch that they. Yeah. Missed the run out opportunity. In fact, it's a two because it was Thunder. That's smashed down the ground. Should only be one. That should have been two, shouldn't it? Because it was Thunder. Previous one should have been. Yeah. Well, they. He's still down and then on striker's end. They just get two runs. So Tumba back on strike now. It's 90 for one at the end of the over. And they've had two oh, singles yes. off this and it's only 92. One there, swept down to deep backward square. Oh 
Lovely setting. Crowd's just building up to the left of us a little. Reverse swept. He's going to get four runs there. That's an intelligent cricket shot there. And that's 50 for Tom Packey. Yeah, eight boundary for Tom Packey in that 50. 35 balls, his first half century of the tournament. What a time to bring out your top scorer of the competition so far. Thumbs up from Tom Packey towards his teammates. Bad very well, actually, isn't he? Batted very well. Eight boundaries. Fan runs a little bit more difficult to come by in these last three or four overs, but that's because Salmon bowled so well. Salmon to Tom Packy. Uh, yeah, Tom Packy, who smashes it. Now it's a long off. Winkle out another Indian batter. Oh, there's a mix up here. No, there's not. Oh, there's had two shies at the stump. Malik was sent back by Tom Packy. No one was at the stumps for Pakistan. All it needed was just a gentle throw back to the bowler. And in that over, up came the 100 for India in the 11th over. A couple of goes there and the stamps couldn't quite hit them though. It's so like Keystone Cops out there, wasn't it? The Indian remained one down. 101 for one. So you going to continue. The brilliant is Third over, two overs, not 17 so far. Took that way to 20 B1 category player his runs count double takes strike so Zeb's coming on it so easily and the same bowler around the wicket still fires that one in they come through for a single they get a couple there's also a no ball I think it bounced in both halves. Just came, came out slightly wrong, I think. One who was trying to get the quicker one in to Tumba. Didn't quite get it right. Yeah, sometimes they just sort of overstep the line with the uh, with the ball, don't they? The, the line halfway down the wicket. Reverse swept. It's past the fielder at back of point. Will it go all the way? No, oh, brilliant that's bit of work. Great work. Mr. Ali out there. No, it's not Mr. Ali, because he's really but Ahmad Azir, I think he is out there. Tom Packy on to 52. Tom the back on strike. It's 28 he's got. A good knock from him. No. The scoreboard's changed again. Can't quite get it right. They don't make our life easy, do they, Sam? No, it's not. Reverse swept. Oh, from. there's a big mix up here. Like a chance of a run out. He's yeah, gone. It's going to be a run out. The Indian batters both looking at each other. Tums has been run out. The runner is looking at Tom Packey saying. There was never a single there. He had a point. India lost their second wicket, 106 for two. <laughs> it was exactly like the last over, wasn't it? I mean, I get you have to try and push it in T20 cricket, but I mean, that was unnecessary at best. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 
barbecued, I think you call it, down in Somerset, don't you? <laughs> they will be a little bit disappointed with that. But hey, India in a strong, strong position. Yeah. And they're still there, and beating on 54. Assuming it's got to be the really one score I think, so far in the competition. 192 runs, a couple of half centuries, flat rate of 150. It's not a bad man to come to the crease. Still got eight and a half overs to go. Increase the volume levels here as well, isn't it? Make start find fans finding their voice. So what if they get close in this chase? This place is going to be alive. Oh, what a shot! Starts with a mesh. What a shot! Absolutely flying. There's two fielders out there on the leg side down the hand square. That's going right between the two of them. Ramesh has four from just the one ball. Sunil Ramesh! Outrageous! Well, he's having a good tournament. Goes to within four of 200 runs for the competition. Sunil Ramesh. Right, goes to the runs here. No, exactly. He's trying to push it out there, wasn't he? Touch too far. Twenty cricket normally you double the score at the end of the 12 overs that gives you a good guideline I don't think India are going to get 230 from here though yeah I think I think they're looking at about 170 180 though Pakistan would love it if they can keep them to 160 170 as Nasir Ali said to me before the start of the game now is his game plan so into the attack, we are going to see Matty Ulla. going to come curve his run around the umpire or is he going to come over the wicket he's going to come over the wicket yeah he's going to come over the wicket he'll skip oh Pakistan appealing there I wonder if all have got anything on that cannons into the stumps at the bowler's end and runs away for a single Luckily for Pakistan there, because they had four runs went all over it. He hit 
hit it hard. Sunil Ramesh. Where can Tom Packy put this one? Oh, Miss Stumping. Miss Stumping by the skip and that's the rally. First. Oh, great effort on the boundary down there. It certainly was. It's a fantastic effort there. Akmel Hyatt Nasir doing the work. Got a couple of Third, we've got Shazeb and Rizak Khan in close proximity down there. As Tom Paki drills that one out to long off. Paki still went one ones here though. And take a run and ball from here, keep them down to one, under 170. Matty Ulla swept out to deep square just for a single. Ulla in another miss stumping. I've got high standards, Samuel. I've got high standards, mate. I don't know what the level of weight you can use in the club league with your officiate. But I think he's done superbly to even stop that. 123 for two at the end of the 13th. He was really a bully. 123 for two is down the same. Seven overs remaining. Wickets in hand here. Do you think that was hot? Do you think that was hot? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we missed up Yeah, definitely. Because it, he had two of those in that over. It came, it was the angle at which it came, it could easily flicked into a pad on the back seat. So, he, to finish off, three overs, not 32 so far. Mashed on strike, 11 from five. Remember, he came in and hit his first couple of balls for four, for 200 plus runs for the tournament now. Platform is set for India. Can over from here get some to almost 200. Smash down the boundaries. A fielder at Lorraf. Bad Emilia. Fields well, rolls it in. Beautiful sunshine, isn't there? Now, bathing the ground. No chance of rain at this stage. August bank holiday sunshine. Big one player does well to stop it. Come free for a single hit hard back at him. Yeah, Sonny or Ramesh gives it a whack. Well, that was Tom Packy, but both of them give it a whack, don't they? Tom Pack, he's been out there a while now. He's just struggling there with that two. T20 tests the fitness, doesn't it? Got twos in this 
Ja. Getting away, uh, sorry, India not getting away here. Chipped in the air, there's a fielder at deep back for point. Go through to him. A couple of bounces, Nisar Ali. Nisar Ali, I keep doing Shouldn't be missable to me because he is the weak. 129 for two, 14 It's been a long day for us here. Could be set for a brilliant run chase though. Yeah, I think so. I think this is Pakistan have got a chance at the moment. These next six overs though are going to be crucial, I think. And do it with Toss we expect to most things. Yeah. <laughs> Salmon's back. Jim Pokey leaving that line now, wasn't that wide? Yeah, I think he just misjudged the line a bit. So yeah. Has he taken a step out towards the lake side? Two dots to start the 15th over here from Salmon. This is quality. Precious at this stage. Yeah. Got a little bit of tap earlier. Smashed. Up to long off. This ball though. It does slow up, doesn't it, when you, you smash it and it's it's like a not one of those plastic footballs when you boot it really hard, it leaves the foot quickly and then just catches the wind and goes. It's the ball bearings in them. Again smashed out to long off. All along the ground there. From Ramesh. Again out to long off. Only three people playing the game at the moment. The batter, the bowler and long off. So India won the toss, they let it to bat. Tom Packy and Donna opened up. Donna departed, he was bowled by Salmon. Oh, that's gone straight back over the bowler's head for four runs. Yeah, Donna departed, he was bowled by Salmon for 20. Tunda then came in and he was run out by Matty Ulla for 22. Sunil Ramesh has kept Tom Packy company in India here are oh, 136 for two at the three-quarter stage of this T20 final between these rivals. Left. 
do we get a Pacquiao? Set 63. We'll pick up another couple of quick wickets just to wrestle some momentum back. It's going to be. Seven so far. He's in. Swept. Found the gap as well. Four. Lovely shot from Tanaki. Four more from Lake and cut it off. Four more for India. And he went to 140. Tanaki was on 67. Oh, he's going to get 100 here, isn't he? Changed ends, isn't it? Changed ends, hasn't it? That's right. Yeah. Stretching his arms. Oh, that one's flicked. It's so hard, the timing on that was superb. He really deserved more than the one that he got. Left the field deep square left. He was up to the task. Throws it in. that one through mid on. Too early on that and hit the back of the bat, didn't he? When he was through the stroke, Roberts Price didn't get it away. It's a precious stop ball, one ball left the 16th, and they haven't had the over so far. Should just be one, it's going to just be one. So 12 off the over. He says, oh, he's hit the stumps. On his last one, the frame was so accurate. Stumps. Good running actually, India batters were yeah. right to that. Come through for a second. So 13 off the over. Four overs left, nearly 150 on the board. I think Pakistan might be quite pleased now to keep it under 200. So Nasir is going to come in from the city end. Akmal Hayat Nasir. Oh, thick outside edge. That's four runs. Yeah, 
Pakistan are starting to run away from Pakistan now. They did well. They kept kept it under, kept a lid on it, didn't they? F until probably two overs ago. Just need a whiff or two to break this partnership to start with. Smash. Almost six runs, one bounce for four. Atmosphere bubbling up. Fifty seven for two inside edge there trickles away for a rather languid single one fifty seven for two one fifty eight for two. Down the leg side. Tom Packy. Three quarters of the way now to a century. This place is going to erupt if he gets one. to the delight of the Indian fans. The flags are waving in the hollies. See it bowls. I keep thinking it's a no ball, but he's got like a, a Sharapova grunt, doesn't he, when he delivers the ball? Every little effort into it. 17 guys, 164 for two. It does feel like he's just getting away from Pakistan slightly. Not picked up a wicket since the 12th over. Last couple of overs going to 12 and 14. Tell you what, if this gets close though, this ground will be on fire. I tell you, it will be absolutely buzzing here. on our toes then they swept there's some good arms in this Pakistan side some really good arms coming in from the boundary yeah Wide of mid-on. 
does see Curry to stop that diving down. Two is left. Yeah, that's Mohamed Salman. Superb from him in the field. We're going to have another change of ball. That one's cracked as well. Second time we change balls in this Indian innings. What well, surprise the way these guys whack it. <laughs> they absolutely screech it around the field, don't they? intelligent cricket that was outside leg stump he take he's taken that early he got it way in front of the man at deep backward point as Sam said no one could cut that off the motor it's one straight back oh. the it takes a superb oh. catch it was a brilliant catch it was a brilliant way to end what has been a wonderful innings for Todd Pack who opened the batting he has been out there for exactly 18 overs 76 rounds 57 balls face 11 boundaries what more can I say Dan? Wowzers he's absolutely nailed that back at Matiola I just casually sort of <laughs> just taking it. Let's have another look at this. Superb. Superb. She's in the sea. It's Matthew Yellow, isn't it? The scoreboard's wrong again. They're not making our life easy. Well, that was the end of the over, so they've gone back to their end. 171 for free, 12 balls left. They could get to 200 here, Dan. Yeah. That'd be right. left so the new batter is the skipper AJ Kumaredi There by Munia. Adam Munia back. 21 off three so far. Tidy in the context of the game. That's reverse swept in front. Oh, that's brilliant work out there. Oh, there's a mix up. Oh, no, the umpire's given four.
The umpire's given four runs. I tell you what, that was a good job he did because the non-striker, there was a little bit of a mix up there on the running again. taking his gloves off and he's walking away. I'm all confused, Sam. I'm, I'm a little bit discombobulated here. <laughs> There's an appeal for a stumping. The umpire's hand moved at square leg. The batter walked away and took his glove off. But it's not out. He's a dot ball, though, from Mania. That's gone in the air. It's going to drop safe. Just plugs in the covers. Good over this though. So far, good, good first four balls. It's going for five runs. No ball. It only bounced once in his half and went. Didn't bounce in the second half of the pitch there. Creamed through the covers. Only for one run. Seven balls remain. India looking to maximise their opportunity here. Oh, what the hell. They're going to scamper through for a bye. Leg bye. So, with one over to go. 179 for three. Yeah, I agree with you. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, so Badamania, he finishes with none for 28 off of his four. Yeah, Mohamed Salman, he's finished. He's one for 28 or four. Zaib is one for 38 or four. Well, uh, at the moment, he's one for 27 or three. And this here was none for 15 off a solitary over. Hader proving expensive at the top, none for 40 or three. He's in, he's got a ball. Precious at this stage of the game. The match on strong for 46. Just couldn't get that one away. Give himself some room, but he was followed by. Yeah, Ramesh has got a little bit stuck here, isn't he? He's, I think he's trying to hit it too hard, possibly. I mean, when he gets, when he connects, he does absolutely nail it, but he just needs bat on ball and to pick up. Sweeps. Six. There's a fielder. Big square leg, so just be a single. Yeah, good start this for Pakistan in this final over. Oh, 
a sweet sweet action from Owen Ash, but he's just going to get a single. You can see his frustration. 48 unbeaten, just two balls left. Meeting two for three now. So good finish from Pakistan. All the balls remaining. A couple of boundaries, but changing momentum again. But if they restrict India to say 183 and 184 here, they'd be delighted. Ready on strike. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't quite know. He drops to his knees. He's gone through though. At this stage, it's a dot ball. Ramesh, you can see his frustration to be left. I'm beating on 48 and on striker's end. Yes, we have a no ball here. He's in. He's struck firmly. He's in the air. He'll try and come back for a second. Why not? That's ball of the innings. Bowler unable to gather the throw cleanly. Shake it ahead from the umpire. They take a couple to close it off. Good finish though from Pakistan. 184 for three, the final total. So they will come back to the 185 for the medal. India while they're winning. The star of their innings was Tom Packett. He made 76, 57 balls, 11 boundaries for him. Mesh unbeaten on 48 for 29 balls. He sent a slight bit of frustration. He didn't get A, didn't get the ball away in those last four rows. And also didn't get enough of the strike. Eight boundaries for him. Wicket each for Muller and Salmon. Down my team, myself, so now we're back in about 15, 20 minutes for the run chase. Just two fielders and that outside the circle for the six overs of power play. Umpires Robert Bartlett and Roger Barker today. Yeah, he's asking the Indian fielders there to either sit down or put vests on, ideally. A little bit close to the, the guys who haven't been selected in the 11 for India. Are oh, just right by the boundary edge and causing problems. Ulla's going to face the first ball, left-hander. Left-handed bat, right-handed bowler. We will be joined by Akmel Hayat Nasir. Already in. Swept. It's going to be a wide, is it? No, he gets away with that one. Don't know if it flicked a glove or a bit of bat on the way through. Good start. Two dot balls to open us up already, the Indian skipper. Around wicket. Again, down the leg side, but it goes over the top of the glove. So it's another dot ball. Ali just going down to have a quick word with his teammate, Rulan, who's faced. Three dot balls, fist pump, a couple of words of encouragement. Ideal start for Reddy, the Indian skipper. Same again, this time it is a wide. Indian skipper doesn't yeah, like that it. that was further. It was, isn't it? Outside leg stump, really. Previous ones have gone over the back, whereas that one couldn't be reached by Ulas. The first runs of this run chase on the board, well, just a single. Ready in. Swept. It's not where he meant to get back. He squirted out onto the offside, but Field did an extra cover. 
No runs off the bat yet. He's ready. There are the first runs off the bat. It's in the gap between deep square and fine leg. They settle for a single. Oh, they're off the mark with one. Score ticks over to two. One ball left in the first over. not going to be Akmal Nazir, he's just out there running for Mohamed Salman. Is it Miss uh, Ali, the skipper, skipper to skipper. That's going to be a wide again, it is Miss Ali, Pakistan skipper, apologies. Captain to captain. Swept again, he's past fine leg. Is he going to go all the way? Now a good bit of work, I think. From the field, there's a short fine leg and a, a deep fine leg. He went past short fine leg. Stopped by the foot. The man down at deep fine leg. So the end of the over, it's a good one from an Indian perspective. Just four runs on the board, four without loss. 181 required from 19 overs. In Pakistan are going to walk away from Edge Baston this evening with the gold medals around their neck. Bangladesh already guaranteed bronze. They lost out to India in yesterday's eliminator game. Pakistan topping the group stages. Brilliant week they've had. Can they close it out with victory here? Yeah, Akmal Hyatt Nasir, known as Ali by the look of it. Big gap at mid off. I don't think you've done their homework on him. That's a wide down the leg side. Freebies already in this Indian innings. You don't want to give him too many as he's 20. That's going to be a wide five of them. The light down. Pakistan. I've never seen that. A jump of delight at five wides. Umpire. <laughs> Umpire, wicketkeeper and bowler both looking at each other accusingly. <laughs> Takes the score into double figures. Eight of the ten runs coming in extra so far. That's a legitimate delivery there. Big swing here, isn't there? Yeah. Run around the corner there. Yeah, sweet connection on that sweep. Uh, Filled up, well positioned. Uh, long leg. Keep it out to one. Yeah. Man, it's short. Well, he's a slip, actually. Well, he's a, like a fly slip. Nilesh, Nilesh Yadav. That's going to be... One, two wides there. India could do with just tightening this up. These aren't just like normal wides. The keeper's actually got no chance of getting anywhere near them. A 
again. That's going to be five wide. Uh, they moved the fielder from short fine leg to, well, kind of like a third slip, just in case, but it's just way too wide from Malik. He's only bowled a couple of legitimate deliveries so far. This is proving costly, not the start. India wanted, ideal for Pakistan. Again, that's a wide. They've come through, and the batter just about gets in. Two more on the score, so 20 already. We've only had eight legitimate balls. This is proving expensive for Malik. He just needs yeah. to get out of this over, doesn't he? As you can sell, tell they're agitated, the Indians. Left-hander on strike. up the leg side here oh that's for bowl got ball Bullock tries to reverse sweep it's better better from Malik there 20 runs on the board just three of them off the bat so far that's a big wide they get through for another two runs, one extra, and one they run. Can't help but feel, Dan, that if this does ultimately go Pakistan's way, India will look back at this start. Yeah, it's been dreadful. This head start, it's difficult to dress it up any other way. You know, T20 cricket is about discipline, isn't it? It's about not giving away freebies and if you keep a side down to one a ball in T20 cricket, it's 120 runs. Are you happy with that? Just defended there. 19 wides already. That's outrageous. That's been turned around the corner. Dinesh Vai, Chamayan Vai, Rathva doing the fielding there. 19 off the over so far. Another wide. Another wide. Feel for Malik here. Yeah, I feel for Malik. He just wants to get this over done now. Can't imagine he'll get a second. No. Again, another wide, and they scamper through for one. And it's falling apart a little bit. He just needs someone to go over to him. Give him a pat on the back and yeah. say, it's all right, just relax, just breathe. They can still recover from this, India. Very early, there's still a long way to go. 158 still required to win. Pakistan ahead of India at this stage. They were 21. They're going to be on 28 here. In fact, 29 because it's a B1 player out there, isn't it? Is it not? No, B2 player, I think. 
they could choose. Uh, they two B three players, a two B three players. Sorry, op optional runner, I think. Uh, Twenty eight on that loss. Two overs gone. One hundred fifty seven to win. Skipper ready is going to continue. 28 on the board, just five of those runs coming off the back. 23 runs coming in wide. Ready, skipper to skipper. Or bold. Goes between the legs. Got into position early there, Ali, for the reverse sweep. Goes through his legs. Four from seven he's got. It's a fist pump from his runner. Ready in, swept in front of the square. Just set up in the ground there. And I thought it was going to go picking up a couple in the end. Just gets Ali a single. So he moves on to five. Thirty is up, only without loss. This is better from Ready though. He's bowled nine balls, just gone for the six runs. He's been tidy, the India skipper. Ninety-nine AJ on his back. Swept in front of square, but straight to the fielder at mid-wicket. Nice shot from Ali, but it doesn't get him any runs. Bit of buoyancy back for the India fielders now. Ready, leading from the front. He's in. Ali, well, I wonder if he's broken the ball there, because you could hear the sound. Yeah, it sounded horrendous. From up here. He got into position early for the reverse sweep. He said no ball. So an extra run. Ball seems to be okay. Swept. Did a little tickle on that. Ali, so it won't be a wide. And they opt against taking the run, Pakistan. 31 of that loss here, Edge Baston. Pakistan going along nicely. Helped along by a good number of wides. Swept into the gap. Probably just be one, though. Ball slowing down in the air. And to the over, three gone, 32 without loss India were 23 without loss at this stage yeah Pakistan this is going to be tight I reckon but it, India they won't be too disheartened because they're not getting the ball away at all Pakistan really no it's just, it's just purely the indiscipline that's costing them change of bowling I think it's Badanayak I think the Indian numbers aren't easy to read on the back especially from our elevated position up here here's Badanayak Nakula Badanayak Where's Ali going to put this one? Swept. Oh, and that's gone through the fielder out deep square. Just kisses the rope. Four runs. Swept the venom there. It was just an awkward bounce, wasn't it? Just yeah. half a foot, maybe a foot in front of the fielder out deep square leg. Just squirm through the legs. Throws his head up to the air. Vital runs. Ali moves on to double figures. Decent crowd in now in the Hollies. Yeah. First, got ball though. The field is there, cuts it off. Cut off time is just before seven. I'm disappointed because if it goes that long, down I'll be gone. I've got the last <laughs> track, train strikes are ruining me. Sharp. That's a no ball as well. Only bounced once. So 
So that's going to add to the total. Three points, four runs. Lovely shot. It's a serious shot, that. Yeah, well, there's the word that flew, didn't it? No, to that backward point boundary. He didn't even hit it that hard. It was a pure timing, wasn't it? He's standing well in front now. Still a long way to go. Ball, yeah, it's only bounced once. He's trying to bowl too quick here, I think. Better than Ayak. India just need to just keep their cool here. That's swept behind square. That could well be four runs. It is four runs. Placed it very well. Absolutely loving it. This is ominous for India because Ali is starting to get going. It was a, a watchful start to his innings, but he's starting to find the boundary now. Moves on to 19 at better than a runner ball. Bad in. Another no ball. Again, more in discipline. He's gone for nearly 20 now off his over. One ball to go. And who was bowling from the city end? For India. It's been seriously expensive. Well, extra double top score, aren't they? Despite Ali's flurry of boundaries. 42 and 11 balls have come from the city end yeah, that's going to completely over so that's the 50 up in the fourth over 20 ahead of where India were India were 30 for none being two overs 44 runs have come from that city end India can't afford that uh, they can't I think we're going to see a change of bowling. A couple of tidy overs from Reddy. Two overs, not for eight. But saving himself. Ramesh. For a little bit later. Ramesh into the attack. Sunil Ramesh. Category B3 player. Need wickets now, India. Need to do something to prevent this game. Getting away from them, really. 135 to win. 16 overs remaining. Well ahead of the run rate. Extra is costly. 27 of them so far. You'd be disappointed with that in an entire T20 innings. You'd be disappointed with half of that in an entire T20 innings. We've only had four overs. Well, you think if it continues and say Pakistan gets 30 off the next two overs. Reverse sweep. Has he found the gap? No, he hasn't. Good bit of fielding. You know, I mean, they could break the back of his chase in the power play. Yeah, I wonder what the highest power player of the tournament is, actually. So, uh, I, I asked that question knowing I haven't got the answer. <laughs> I hope it was a rhetorical question. It was. <laughs> it's going to be a good power player, I think, unless they lose a, a sudden flurry of wickets. 
driven into the offside. There's no one there either. They're going to pick up one. Are they going to come back for a second? Yes, they are. The throw is good, but not quite good enough. Good bit of running by Ulla, who was running to the non-striker's end. Picked up a couple. Ali, 22 from 21. Still on strike after that, too. Hit that one. Hit that one hard as well, but it went straight at deep extra cover. No, extra cover, not deep extra cover. Saved a certain boundary, really. A couple of yards either side, and that's for Ali has his eye in. Here's Ramesh. There's the shot Ali's been looking for those last couple of balls. It's going to be chased. We've got no chance, really. What do you call it? The Birmingham, the, the cover? The br Brumbrella. Brumbrella, that's it. Brumbrella doing the fielding there. On the other side of the boundary, four more to Ali. Finally, there's more runs off the bat than there are extras in the innings. Ali's 26 now, racing along. Oh, what bowls. That was beauty. Ali gave himself some room, just followed by the bowler. Had no width whatsoever, tight into the body. Excellent from Ramesh. He's, oh, five balls now, just gone for the six runs. It's been tidy from him, replacing the skipper ready at the pavilion then. Swept, just be warm, I think. So a decent fifth over. Just yeah, much seven better. off it. Much better from India. Pakistan still 16 runs ahead of where India were at this stage. However, the last power play for India went big. It went for 21, put them on 62 at the end of the power play. So, Pakistan needs something similar here to keep themselves ahead of their rivals. Don Zindabad coming out of the Hollies. The umpires are having a little bit of a conflap here, Sam. What do you think they're discussing? Where I go for dinner tonight in Birmingham or uh... feels unlikely. Skipper Ali's involved. The Indian skipper Reddy isn't involved at this stage. I think he's about to get involved. Though. Someone's going there. It's not. It's not ready. No, Reddy's not there. Actually. Reddy's having a little stroll over there now. AJ Kuma ready. India captain, B2. Just turn there. Reddy got all the way over there, but. Yeah. As soon as he got there, he turned around. Maybe they decided on their restaurant of choice for tonight. <laughs> Could be another change of bowling, I think. It's going to be Dunna. Oh, he's got some Packy down on the school. No, it's no, now Dunna. Yeah. They need to make something happen. And soon. Hit out to mid off. That could go all the way for four. It will do. What timing there. Superb timing from Ali. They just teased, didn't it? They had three fielders chasing after it. Looked like it was going to slow and not quite make it, and then it looked like it was going to make it, and then not. In the end, it's for to Ali. We shouldn't be surprised. He's timing the ball beautifully. Whatever the umpires were talking to him about doesn't seem to have affected his ability to strike the ball.
slower ball. Well placed, no run. Good work there around the corner. Let's see who that fielder is, but he's done well there. It's firmly back there by Ali. Donna. Turning the screw. On the leg side, he's only going to get one here, Ali. Big ground this. Third biggest stadium. After Lords and the Oval. No ball there. Extras continue to cost India. Yeah. Leaking. Hemorrhaging runs here, India. Played out to mid on as they scamper through for a single. They eat in sunshine now, Major Preston, it really is. And we're worried about the weather before the toss. Yeah. Oh, we've had the best of the day. Beautiful. That's a gorgeous shot through extra cover. Four runs. <laughs> Serious timing. Ellie's on 36. Yeah, skipper looks good. Power play's done. 68 without loss. So we're still ahead of where India were at this stage. Pakistan, they haven't lost a wicket. They need just 117 runs to win from 14 overs. This one's far from over. There's still a long way to go. But they couldn't really have asked for a better start, Pakistan. For this, they were aided by some suboptimal bowling from India. Lots of wides. A few no balls thrown in there. Change of bowling then from the pavilion end. Yadav on for India, category B1 player. Circle India, circle indicates that the power play is done, so India can spread the field a little bit, I dare say they will. Just two fielders allowed outside the inner ring for the first six overs. Now that can be up to five. Four fielders must be in the ring. Two of them are at a straightish and a slightly wider mid-on. The skipper, ready, is at mid-off. There's a fly slip. And there's three boundary rides on the leg side. Deep backward point. Deep extra cover. Yadav. Swept. Not time though by Buller, who's been out there since the start. Just got four off 11 balls. He hasn't had an awful lot of the strike. Ali has been dominating. His job probably now, Buller, is just to try and get off strike. Get himself down that non striker's end. As Yadav uses the stump to the non striker's end to get his positioning. Calls play. Oh, he's got four for that. He's going to pick up a boundary there. It was going to be a wide, and I thought, actually, he just knocked it into the ground, other, but he's knocked it through the keeper's legs, and he picks he's, up four. He's got late on that, hasn't he? Very late. <laughs> I, I was poised to say, well, he'd been better off leaving that one alone, because I thought he turned a certain wide into a dot ball. But yeah. He's actually picked up a boundary, so what do I know? <laughs> We've seen that a few times today. Bowlers using the stumps as a guide. It's a uh, sort of... You know, like a, a geography aid, really. Well, I think the B1 bowlers in particular need to do it. Yeah. Just to make, to try and align themselves. It's remarkable, really, what these guys and the ladies this morning are able to do. That one again would have been wide. It's almost a repeat shot. It, I think, it, will it go to the boundary? No, it won't quite. They're going to come back for two. Chance for a run out. The throw isn't quite there. 
scrambles back a lot for a couple Matty Ola, left-handed batter. Saw him in action with the ball a little bit earlier on. Moves into double figures with the bat now. He's out there with the skipper. Ahmal Nazir is the non-striker's end. He's doing the running for Skipper Ali. That's a straight ball. It's going to be given as a no ball. Chance to run out. And there's a misfield. They come for one. Indian skipper ready has it. Keeper does well. Hits the batter at the non-striker end. It's all going on. In the end, it's just one plus the no ball. India are unravelling a little bit here, aren't they? Just a bit sloppy, isn't it? Yeah. But a couple of wickets just changes momentum, though, Dan. They're a brilliant yeah, side, so India. Nice. They've got experience in world finals and of winning world finals. So they can't count them out just yet. Pakistan, though, I'd say, are on top as it, as it stands. 36 for the skipper so far. Wouldn't he like to go on and make a big score? Take his side to the gold medal. Yedef just lining things up. It's probably going to be a wide. Is given as a wide. There's extras creeping up yet again. 47 off the bat, 30 in extras. Take those extras out of it, it's a very different equation. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah, I'd have steadied himself. Stumping, it's given. Oh, Brilliant so bit of work. It's given as a wide as well, but it was too wide. India celebrates. Skipper Ali absolutely cannot believe it stumps are tilted out of the ground brilliant bit of work behind the stumps by the indian wicketkeeper they have their first wicket well we talked about the wide proving costly on this one time the wide has proved to work yeah ali going sharp bit of work wasn't it yeah for a sparkling 36 really good innings there it's giving his side a platform here 78 for one. They desperately needed that in here, didn't they? Desperately needed it. Yeah, they did. Certainly did. What's going to happen here, though? Salmon comes in now. Mohammed Salman and the B1 players. <laughs> Made fifty on his debut. Salman they are in the tournament. Had a good with the bat. But his runs count double. B1 category player. That's got a runner out there. Will momentum shift in his way now. Doing they come through. And they take a single, it's worth two. Straight to mid off. Salmon's off the mark immediately. Score moves on to 80. So then the seventh over here. There's been a top, top start from Pakistan. Going exactly a dozen and over. Matty Ullah still out there, the left-hander. 11 from 15. Oh, and that's a good-looking shot. Mid-off is going to have to chase it. Oh, he's done well there. He's done brilliantly mid-off. Keeps them to a couple. Wondered if that might go all the way to the boundary. Skipper ready. Does very, very well. Wonder if he'll, he'll think about bringing himself back on. Hold a couple of really tidy overs first up. 
Yeah, I'd have. He's got the one wicket to fall so far, coming out in this over. Ali, Pakistan skipper, stumped off a wide. He can't believe it. That's a beautiful shot. Field out there, though. A deep extra keeps it down to one. Brilliant arm. Ooh, top bit of work there. Out on the boundary. End of the over. Seven gone. AC free for one. Yeah. Pakistan. Eking themselves ahead. Into this stage was 65 for one. Was your pocket money, Sam Danning? I think the Pakistan. I I think think they've awesome. had a good tournament so far. They've put themselves in a very good spot. I do wonder whether India got enough runs. I wonder if they were slightly light. Yeah, we were talking to Richard Hill and Ian Martin, weren't we? They were expecting 200 plus scores. Yeah, I wonder if they were just slightly light. We have a change of bowling here from the city end bowling to Matty Ulla. He's smashing on the up to long one. Tunda bowling. B1. Naresh by Balabai Tunda. B1 to B1 here. I think B1 players are crucial because if you get a good one, they score double. And yeah, I mean, you know, they, they can suddenly, you know, smash two fours and it's 16 off the over, isn't it? You can't get Tunda away, though. going to be a wide more extras going on to the Pakistan total here Indian indiscipline costing them smashed away there good fielding This is really good from Tunda. Yeah. Very good. A couple of mid-ons, a couple of mid-offs, just cutting off the supply of runs to sell. Wide ball from Tunda. Just do without those. Yeah. That smash back with a square. It's only going to be one though. It's cut off there by Duna.
Sundata Ulla, who nails that one through extra cover. Ball slows up actually in the outfield. They're going to come back for two. Could be overthrow. See, that's a very good arm from out in the deep there. It's good running, wasn't it? It was good running. Yeah, it's put them the under old, pressure. old mantra of running the first one quickly. We taught that under 11 level, but it still rings true now. 91 for one, nearly halfway there, Pakistan. Eight overs gone. They're in a good position. This gold medal game. India versus Pakistan. Neither wants to concede an inch here. We can see the tension in front of us here in the pavilion of Pakistan and Indian non Pakistan non batters, Indian non playing members of the squad today. They all stood up. No one can sit down. They're all fidgeting around. There's nerves. Yadav's going to continue the B1 bowler again. Sound went B1 batter on strike. Four off five. One for one, 94 needed. 72 balls left. India can cut out of the extra, this is going to be very tight. <laughs> shot from Sam and Pierce is the offside. They're going to run two, no, they're not. Come through for a single, they get two runs. B1 batter runs are worth double. So it's a good start to the over from Pakistan. So they become fools. Just find gaps. Yeah. It's not that easy. Nearly got one there. Wasn't far away. Could have taken on the arm, but there's no real need for them to take any risks at the moment, Pakistan. They're cruising along nicely. to be an excellent innings, or one that's a bit costly in terms of ball sacked up. Sweeps that one round the corner. Be better off leaving it, would have been a wide. It's being hypercritical though, for a single. Moving far away from being a no ball, they just about pitched for the second time. Nothing. This game continues to amaze me. What a fantastic bit of work from a B1 cricketer as well. Diving across because Ola nailed that one. He absolutely got that one straight out of the screws. Tunda goes diving across, and only stops it, throws it in. Direct hit. Ola's out of his ground. And. This might put the brakes on the Pakistan innings. Games of cricket have turned on bits of brilliance like that. It was quite wonderful, as you say. I don't think you can over-exaggerate how difficult that is. To go to ground, to get up to find his balance and his bearings straight away, throw down the stumps, is quite magnificent. Could it be a game-changing way? Be long before we find out. So we are towards the final ten overs and 
that top one left. You batter. I still think Pakistan, I still think they're favourites. But I think that's probably going to put the break on them a little bit. There's still 15 runs, that runs ahead of where India were at this stage. Two overs worth, really, isn't it? It's that man affected the run out, Tunda. Tunda, Ian just getting his bearings, bowling to Salman, who nails that one round the corner, oh nearly a run out, Salman, sorry Munir, nearly run out without facing a ball, it's getting lively isn't it, yeah, Yeah, 100 up in the run rate is a, just a shade under 11 at the moment. He's got that one fine. Adam Manil. Just a single gets him off the mark. Does that. He just touches his leg stump to find out his bearings, isn't he? Oh, he's got that one away. Could well get four there. Oh, brilliant work. Absolutely superb. That saved his side four runs there. Salmon being a B1 player. They get through for two. But Salmon is. Crucial here to Pakistan's hopes. He's nailed that one. He's going to get four there. That's a shot and a half. Mohammed Salman. Two shots, yeah. Twelve off two balls. I can't help but think. Yeah, I, I, I agree. He's looking to sweep, and we've got five fielders on the straight track, basically two mid-ons, almost three mid-offs. Yeah, it's only going in one area. I think the man had crept in off the ropes. It was supposed to be our deep square as well there. Oh, he was gone there. That hit, and it wasn't a million miles away. They get through for another two. This idea was not it? Stand 14 off three balls there. Just that little passage of play. As you said, that's the advantage of having B1 players out there. Smash the mid on. Great stop. Super.
One run. Yeah, over that halfway stage, 117 for two. Yeah. Pakistan well on top, you've got to say. Yeah, I mean... I am uh, saying. I think it might be 118, actually. Maybe they've looked at my train time and realised they've got to go <laughs> three. Got to get... Pakistan now 27 ahead of where India were. You've got to think it's going to take something special. Here's the halfway drinks. Even the seagulls are watching on. They're a long way from home. Now, Pakistan's skipper is out there, as is the... match official. Ready, the skipper of India is over there too. Fortunately, I've got no way of knowing what they're saying to each other. No. Are they looking at the watch? Are they saying the cut-off time? Only 40 minutes? The ball turnovers? just gone quiet there's a sort of intrigue silence here isn't there just trying to work out what's going on in this Still no I can't work it out conversation the India skipper's not there anymore still out in the middle, there's all three umpires, and who I seen was the match referee, he was certainly the man down there with the captains before the toss, Reddy's back over there now, Pakistan, well, if it is time they're worried about, I don't think they have to worry too much, because you're not going to take Pakistan 10 overs at the current rate. No. Well, time leave for finished having this discussion as well. Match referees out there. The organiser of the tournaments out there. This drinks break's now gone on for nearly 10 minutes. I think it's time just to get on with the game now. I know it's a bank holiday, but some of us got to go to work on Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you. 
first two overs early on and he's come back. Tally's been doubled in the space of two balls. B1 cricketer, say they get a leg by and they're facing. I presume that's just one, isn't it? It's right off the bat. Yeah. So that one, 26 has got 12. Worth 52. No, it's not worth. Sorry. It's not. It would be if he made, he's made 30, doubled up to 26. Been a long day. It's been a long day. It's going to be no ball and a couple of them, I think, in bouncing. So I'm going to start already just trying a little bit too hard there. More extras. 60 point now. Swept beautifully by. Simon, there's a fielder at deep square leg, so they'll run one, Simon has had a couple, expensive over this from Reddy. Yeah. That's the feeling in one of those days where it doesn't quite go your way in the field for India. a very good player. Pakistan cruising, just extending their lead every over here. In India it's all gone wrong since that second over which went for 24. Been indisciplined. And it's starting to unravel a little bit. Here's Ramesh. What can he do? And he bounced once. Certainly are. The volume levels have gone up. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That could well be four. It is four. It's actually eight. It's Salmon. Pre-signal from the umpire. Yeah. Forty needed. There's four of them. <laughs> Mania nails that one through square leg. He's got shots all around the wicket, isn't he?
There's four more of them. It's the wrong line here from Ramesh though. You can only have two men behind square on the leg side. And from here, just piercing them. That's the 150 up. Thirty-two to win now. Off eight point two overs. There's another one down there. That finds fine leg. Radford doing the fielding. Tenth over that came up. When the twelfth over. I mean, Mania has got twenty-four of ten, but Salman's also picked the pace up, hasn't he? He's found a willing accomplice and they're breaking Indian hearts here Was gone 154 for two. They're getting ready for a celebration, aren't they? Just Sponsors. <laughs> Sponsors flagged are out. The stand flagged are out. 31 required. Eight overs remain. Nia has 24 from 10. Salmon has 38. Amazing. It's a bit brilliant display so far. Just to finish it off. Skip is going to finish off his spell. Three overs for 26 so far. 18 off his previous over though. Kicked himself on. He's got a gamp. He's got to take wickets here. Back to himself to be the man to do so. About three here. Swept. Just a single. Thirty-eight extras. Forty-two, sorry. Extras is still top scorer. Take those out of the equation. This is a tight game. Ready around the wicket. Beautiful shot by. Yeah, but there's a fielder out there. He's going to keep it to one. He hits it cleanly, doesn't he, Manier? Absolutely superb. They don't take a run, no need to take any risk. Yeah. No need to give them a route back into this. Fielding's been wonderful from both sides. I've just thoroughly enjoyed it, Dan. It's been a pleasure to be yeah. here. Around the wicket, ready. Around the corner, he'll pick up a couple. Move on to 42. Yeah, the top scorer with extras. <laughs> I think he's got 
they come right saying he only made his debut in this tournament. So Did he really? Saying, what a find, uh, yeah. 50 on his debut. He's going to find a B1 player. It's, it's, I mean, it's priceless, isn't it? That's the end of the over then. 13 gone. Just 21 needed now. Well, we can take balls out of the equation, really. 42. Three and over needed. Less Pakistan. Do something silly. We do something spectacular. We'll be reading out the name of Pakistan over the tunnel and you your second go as stadium announcer down China Brady Talent. I don't know how this we've been lumbered with this. I really don't know. I thought you did a superb job <laughs> earlier on. That's hit in front of Square through mid wicket. Two more to Salmon. Oh, Manis nailed that. Straight to the fielder, though. Yeah. He chops onto the ball, isn't he? He struck a ball as sweetly as anyone today. Yeah. It's like a, a pitching wedge, he gets sort of under it, doesn't he? So he just always touches the leg stump, just finds out where his whereabouts are. Oh, there's one there. He doesn't hit that one properly, but it's two actually, because it's Salmon dribbled out in front of him and they've scampered through. That's where you feel for the bowl a little bit. Yeah. As you can see two runners there having extensive ball the ball. There he goes, chopping onto that. Yeah, there's four more. He hits it so hard, Manir. Four more. Mania is absolutely smashing this. Mania in a hurry here, I think. Superb with the bat. They could have gone on. They could have made 250 here. Yeah. Another five for the final. Automatically, Pakistan won the group. It's not going to be an India double. Indian women triumph. They were the best side of the women's tournament, eh? The best side of the men's tournament. They're about to win. Pakistan, two required, fields up. Salmon, B1 player on strike, so just a single for him will do it. Oh, 46, he's in. There it is, I think that is the victory, isn't it? There was, I was just waiting for the reaction from the Pakistan field, but it was Salmon in the single.
Salmon, though, what a wonderful innings. Absolutely superb. Aiden and abetted by Badam Munir. He's been absolutely brilliant. I think it's been an absolutely wonderful day. It was fine entertainment out there. It really was. So, Pakistan takes the gold medal. We're going to go over and do the presentation now. And we'll keep you with the atmospheric mic on so you can listen in and hear the celebrations. Pakistan victory. 